back with titled arena warm up on the chess let's have good games let's have fun mainly and let's go let's have good all right let's type hello good luck all in the chat hello all good luck all plans for the stream plans for the stream oh i'm third place <laughs> Okay, cool. I'm starting third. So yeah, plans for this stream. Play warm-up arena. After warm-up arena, go to analyze the lost and drone games. And after this, analyze round six and round seven in, uh, round seven in world championship match. Yeah. Today's game, what I can quickly say, um, wasn't so aggressive like the previous game and it is very understandable because <laughs> after eight hour game it is very hard yeah, and they uh, both were very tired so yeah tomorrow Magnus is going to play with white pieces and with white pieces he has a bit more chances to win and I think with white it is a really low chances of losing so after round eight, it will be four and a half to three and a half in Magnus' favor, I think. But we will see tomorrow what is going to be result of round number eight. Okay, first opponent is the opponent with name Helmut Lan. Hello. Why oh, my eyes? Ah, okay, good luck. I didn't have volume on 70. Now I do have it. Cool. So already half of the match passed. It was already around seven today. Right knight f6 here. Let's go d5. Uh, knight 3 Let's, 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 let Castle. Alright. This let's go for e4. Takes takes. Knight here. Let's go knight f to g5 with knight e6 threat. Yeah. Let's go for it. Okay. All right. It's an interesting move. I think I'm going to take back bishop to e5. Now d6. Okay, yeah, I was thinking about it actually. I think I'm going to take. I'm not sure, maybe I blundered something. Maybe I just need 94. We'll see. Soon. Maybe I did not. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, queen d4. King h1. Is he going to take rook f1? No, bishop d4. Hold on. Interesting. <laughs> um, oh well. I thought just rook f1, knight f2, and then he take on a1, and he's winning. Not sure. <laughs> Maybe it was not so good as I thought it would be. Now basically this bishop d one eighty six 
queen d1 I just take. So yeah. Now I think I am completely winning. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think if you would play rook f1, queen f1, knight f2, I'm forced to take. Then queen a1, bishop f1, bishop f5, and I think he's fine. But I managed to win the first game. Thanks for the game to Helmut Lan. Good game. Um, yeah. Okay, I was winning. Here I need knight f6, and then have this strong d5 pawn. No, actually it was better. Knight bd7, knight, knight e g5 with 7. Better position, makes sense. This allows the advantage. d takes c blind to go for rook f8. And here, yeah, rook f1, queen f1, knight f2, right? And queen f2, queen a1, this bishop f5, yeah. Alright, second opponent is belly caught perch. Good luck. E5, knight 6, should be 7, this, rook c8, h6, a6, uh -huh. okay, queen a5, even though I'm not attacking a3 bishop, Maybe he will think I attack it. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah. Okay, bishop b2. Then I'm going to go for rook d8, probably. Yeah. Okay. Ninety three, maybe ninety five ideas. I am going to go for ninety four here. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm just confused. I think if you would have played knight c. Wait, knight c to d. Knight c d five. It would have been better. I think so. Um, you know, let's go back knight 6. <laughs> Wasn't probably the smartest moves I've done in my life. Yes, yeah, it's now knight d5, right? No, but it should be 7. Knight, I just hung a pawn. Oh well. Here, let's go queen 7. Um, okay, knight 6. Yeah, that was a blunder. Oof. Doesn't look too good. Queen h6, yikes. Oof. Oof. Three points down and right lost position. <laughs> Queen h6. Yes, he may just go or c5 or h4 and he'll win. <laughs> Maybe even bishop e5 would be good. Okay, he goes for bishop a3. Let's go queen 7. I'm trying. Uh, yeah, if c5 d takes c, rook c5, rook d1. Yeah, I had to have some chance there. If they were mini. I think they were, would have been better higher than right here. Mm. Well, let's go rook b6. Now queen e7, he can just take and c5. Four pawns down and I think chances of some compensation at least are extremely, extremely low. So this is looking like a loss for me. Yikes. Well, it takes d or c what? No, rook d6. Alright, let's go rook c8. Okay, five pawns down. <laughs> He'll take on a6. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, c6. Let's go rook a5. Ooh. It's way too good. <laughs> yeah, it's way too good. Okay. Oh, eh. I 
that rook c6, rook c6 I've made, but you can just take with z, g2 bishop, and <laughs> no mate at all. Oh, my my plan is to try to flag him right now. Oh, let's see if I can do it. <laughs> do you want to fall for mate? Okay. <laughs> Ah, nice plan. Nice plan, belly coat. Still, <laughs> at least got some pawn back. <laughs> got some pawns back. I'm not sure if it helps me. Yeah, but it's way too good. Boop, boop, boop. Well, there wasn't a GG from me, but it was from him. Oh well. Oh well. Could have played better. I'm playing Thrawn 6583. Good luck. <laughs> okay, pre move trap did not work out. Okay, bishop h4, bishop g3. Whoa! That's an unusual opening! Wow! That sounds very interesting. Let's put pressure. <laughs> he has to put his knight on h8. Oof. I have a feeling I'm better. Here, let's go bishop h4. Well, knight c4. Yeah, it's knight on h8. Yeah, my open belly card plate. Very, very good. And I didn't have super many chances. <laughs> okay, he got his knight out. I'm not sure if it's going to help him. I think I already got quite decent advantage. See if I realize it. <laughs> oh, he sings. Yeah, looking very good. Okay, queen of six. I think I might even just play h six. Maybe it's nothing super good. But looks interesting. If he'll take with knight, I'm gonna pin his knight. So if he moves his knight, I cannot actually take the pawn because then he'll put his knight back. But okay, this let's go knight e5, and if he takes, I'm gonna take back. Okay. So here. B6 probably. Easy move from my opponent. Yes. So. Yeah. Okay, bishop c4. Here. I don't want to take on d7 because I think I'm going to give the initiative away. Just like play c4. Here is in capture and it's fine. Queen b7. So basically my pawn on f4 is holding my knight and prevents g5 from him. Or something like g5. So this pawn is very, very, very valuable. Uh, so I want to take his bishop on d7. And I also want to take his pawn on a7. Alright, here I think 
can play queen a7, and my idea is to take on c5, and then he'll have three passers. And I think it's going to be very, very hard for him to stop them, and he's also in a big time trouble. So basically, his queen cannot move. The cool tactic to end the game off. Oh. <laughs> doesn't game the end, I thought. Doesn't end the game. Ah, yeah, yeah, lol. I thought the idea to is check if he has pawn on e6, but it did. And the game in overall, I wonder if he won 5683. Good game. GG. GG. <sighs> Playing the his Nash genius. Good luck. Okay, let's go c4. He'll probably take. If yes, I'm preparing e3. No, he does not. Okay, knight f6 is unusual. I mean, it is quite often. It is quite often played, but I'm not sure if it is super good for black to play this. Let's go bishop d3. Castle. Knight d4. Mm, here I'm gonna go for knight b3. No, I'm not sure if it's going to be good, but e5. This bishop f4. And if knight e5, I have knight b5, and I think I'm winning. Okay, this. I think I see a tactic win in a pawn. He moves his queen. Then knight c5. He takes. I take on h7. He takes. Queen c2. Queen c5. Win the pawn. And he has extremely passive position. Alright. If this. Although well, that does not seem to work. But. But, but, but. And play queen c2 with the idea of bishop e4 and bishop h7. And put even more pressure on his c5 bishop. Like rook a c1, etc. So here rook a c1 is the move for me. Cool. Cool. I ah, guess knight d5 though. That's interesting. Let's see if he's going to find it. He does. Whoa, he plays quite good. Play bishop g3. Knight b4 I think is forced. Oh, it does not go for knight b4. Then I'm going to play knight c5. Probably it takes back with the knight, it's yes, yep. Here knight d6. If knight b4, I'm given a check on h7. And then queen b1. Okay, yeah, I mean, I can play queen b1, knight d3, queen d3, and then rook 6, but I don't feel like I want to, so this now queen b1, nice. If g6, I'm just going to sack a bishop, bishop g6, this rook fd1, okay, idea a3 and then b4. Queen, whoa, <laughs> interesting. All right, I think I am allowed to play three. If he'll go with his knight to d3, I can just make a lot of takes on d3, and then I'll have two pieces for a rook, and as we know, that's good material a lot. I think it's basically the same. So, yeah, that's basically the position I was talking about, and here I feel like I'm better, very, very close to winning, because my knight on d6 is absolutely magnificently placed. And, yeah, can go for rook c, taking the open file. I can just make, get a room for my king. Though now he can play rook c8, but he does not. Yeah, let's move my queen away so he cannot play rook c8 at all, because now he could have played takes, takes, and my queen is a weak piece on d3, but now everything is good, this I'm just going to go for queen d4, and 
little b3 um in h2 rook c2 This, yeah, I can play queen f4 or queen h4 and then knight e4 basically. Yeah, knight e4, knight c5 is this right if this I'm going to take, then this, then bishop f4, bishop h6, and cool move. Queen h6, queen h8 mate, otherwise queen g7 mate. And I won the game. Wait, I forgot to open the sneak name. I don't dream Dhenish Genius. Dhenish, Dhenish Genius. Good game. Thanks for the game. Alright, my next opponent is going to be. I'm not sure, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be with black. Yeah, my next opponent is Sachin Araf. Good luck. It's from India, probably. Yeah. Okay, let's go for knight f6. I mean, a change slot is pretty passive. We, yeah, that's, <laughs> as we know, not the most d aggressive opening of all time, but I think it is fine. I'm going to play c5 and try to create some, some, some play on queen side. Yeah, that's a nice move from him to have e pawn in the center. But okay, he takes with the rook. Not so sure about that. This rook here attacking his knight. Technically, I created nothing. But still, he has to defend his knight and not do what he wanted to. e5. Yeah, e5 is interesting. Let's try it. Okay, this e4. I've created something interesting. I think maybe it won't be good. We'll see. Okay, I think he'll go rook d4. Right? Yeah. Now let's go knight g4. He has to go for f4, and he will have more or less fine position. But if he'll play g3, f knight e5, and he did go for g3, so knight e5. Is he going to take on d5? Um, well, so it's threat is knight of three, his knight on c3 is weak, his queen, king and rook are also weak. So, yeah. Okay, rook d5. Let's give a check on f3. Open h6. Knight d2 threat and queen h2 is a threat. Something even rook c3 may be an idea. Looks very, very good. Okay, he just gave up and one name such in a rough. Good game. Uh, yeah, I was like, I'm not sure, but queen, mm, queen h6, queen d1. Yeah, it was, it was needed to go like this. And knight would fall. Okay, playing in Smoros winner. Good luck. Played in Bullet or Blitz. No, actually Blitz two years ago. Oh well. That was a tournament I won. Cool. F5. I was thinking to play F5, but I think it is a bit too wild. So we'll just play knight f6, bishop c5. And play, I guess, more or less usual line. Let's castle. Takes. Bishop up here and then d5. Okay, c5, my bishop is not very, very well placed, but after this, this, it looks fine overall. Let's play bishop a7, bishop d7 here. Ah, let's take. Oh, I'm, I, 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 yikes. Oh, well, knight e4. <laughs> I just hung a knight. Don't know why. Uh, rook a6, and yeah, <laughs> I think I'm pretty lost here. Let's play queen a8. C5. 
this. Star Bishop of Five Ninety Six. I'm trying, trying my best. Queen here. Don't think I get it back. But still, Queen A Five and Bishop D Three. Yeah, that's I think is the correct way to play. From my opponent, um, and I'm pretty sure he's very, very good <laughs> and very, very winning. Let's play f6. I won't give up. I'll try to create chances. Um, okay, this. So, queen d8. This. I don't know, let's just take and try to create some problems there because if f5 he would have just played knight e4 and I think it wouldn't be much uh, there. So let's at least try that thing. I'm pretty sure it also won't work, but I'll try. Queen h4, queen g4, queen f3 is perpetual idea. So I think a perpetual would be a nice result. A really, really good result, to be honest with you. Uh, okay, f4. Uh, with the idea of f3. Check. Or queen g5. Seems like this. Okay, queen d7. Let's go f3. This, let's take queen. D yeah, I was thinking rook e1, but then he can easily play queen g4. And he's fine. Let's play queen d4 then. You just play rook g1, I guess. But let's see if he will. Ah, rook g1, I have queen, queen f2. So it's not an easy win there, to be honest with you. Okay. Uh huh. Oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well. He's going to play. Knight e three. Yeah, a nice move. And protecting his knight and preventing queen e five check idea. Rook a8, rook a6 idea. Basically, if he moves his bishop, I can take his knight. So <laughs> I'm trying my best to create some problems for him. So he won't win with ease. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying my best. Let's play queen f6. And he kind of gets close to time trouble. So chances of him blundering are getting a bit higher. Slowly, every move but higher and higher. Um, let's go rook e8. I'm also, I also don't have 10 minutes, but, but still, <laughs> he has 30, se he's 30 seconds less. He could have just taken d5 pawn, but he did not. Um, mm -hmm. Let's go queen e6. Ah, uh, knight f4, oh no. Oh, yikes. Oof, oof, oof. Okay. And I'm not sure why I'm moving now <laughs> when I'm already completely lost. Um, but yeah, I'm moving. <laughs> and that's the fact. Um, play queen f5. Mm. Uh, let's keep more pieces. The board. Yes, more pieces equals more chances of him, for him. But <laughs> same time, more pieces equals more chances of me trapping him. So, oh, nice trap. Okay, nice. Two times. More time. Just how to win here. You won't take my pawn. 
You want to check my board? That is another Boros winner. Ooh, I was like a night down from move 10. And I managed to win it. Wow. Legan's Teshi move. All right. Nice game. Uh, but let's learn lessons. Don't give away night on move 12. <laughs> and yeah. Basically just that. <laughs> Cancel A three. Let's go H three. Queen F three. If E six, I'm going to go for knight E four and create some problems. Okay, nice. E goes right into it, right into my plan. Let's see. Um. Well, takes knight F six. I mean, yeah, it's not checker, so he's not forced to take, of course. <laughs> of course, he does not want to take. Well, very understandable. What can I say? If he'll develop knight six, I have 97 within an exchange. That looks very, very good. I'm giving away the beat pawn for... Whoa, he just, like, blundered mate. Okay. Rodri, I'm Teshi move. Yeah. <laughs> Bishop f6 immediately would not be bad because then you have knight d7 and my queen has to go. But okay, he decided to do it like that. Playing in some more, more haze. Good luck. We played in Fallout Challenge. No, in Blitz Warm Up in September and he berserked against me. Oh, wow. Cool. Okay, so um, Kings Indian. I like just trading everything over here. <laughs> To another spicy position now, knight d5, and play that. Maybe I don't have much chance to w of winning. Yeah, true, but but yeah, I played rook a c1. I think f5 was a mistake because now c7 pawn. I mean, yeah, this h6, bishop e7, and d6, and my bishop plus rook plus pawn plus other bishop creates a very, very dangerous combo, as it seems. So, this I'm just going to double up on c file. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, b7 pawn hangs, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty winning. Here. Alright, this, mm -hmm. let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, let's just take, um, now let's go rook b7. This, I'm just going to double up again. So yeah, important that I have control over open file, now b3, if rook b4, I have bishop c4. Yep. And then d6, d7, and my pawn is going to the queens. Though he prevents it, but I can just play a4. Just close the position up uh, this. I'm not sure I'm going to play rook c5. Yeah, he just can't break through. His only way to win, as it seems, is by mating me. And yeah, I basically made a fortress. I don't know, let's just play rook b5. And take stakes, I have Spongebob, and I have, I'm pretty sure he won't stop my sponge, Spongebob. Uh, so rook b5, yeah, he just gave up, and Andre Mohais, good game. Good game, nice. And now let's play against him, Master Ziki27, good luck. Uh, okay, Sicilian defense, bishop e2, that's an unusual line. But if I remember correctly, I played d5 on this. Let's go knight f6, now knight c6. I think I'm going to find Keto. Okay. That sure looks interesting. Not sure if it is really good for him. Let's play b6. Let's go b7. Here. a6, b5, b4 idea. Let's go knight e7. Takes, takes. Let's try to trap his rook. I'm 99% sure it won't work, of course, but still, okay, 95. And, like, maybe b5, queen d7 idea. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure here I am going to go for b5. Uh, this... Um, let's take... Knight c4. Maybe knight c6 and knight d4 threats would have been a bit trippier. But this looks pretty good because my knight on c4 is very strong. Okay, let's go queen d7 here. Rook e1. Yeah, makes sense. Let's just double up the rooks and then play rook f8. Aha! Uh -huh. He says, please move your knight away. Yes, he's a bit more direct. He's like, move your knight. <laughs> it won't be good. But if e4 square, <laughs> how are you going to move my knight away from this square, huh? <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's finish my doubling up. Finish my doubling up. Ba -ba -boom. This three and a bishop h six yes ninety five, huh? Let's go bishop a just, just go bishop a h. Okay, this. Okay, we'll probably keep doubling up. Let's play queen d six. So now I can play bishop h six if he'll double up. Mm -hmm. That's the point. Here, let's play queen f4. I don't really see the point of this. Let's just play it and see, and see what he is going to play. I think maybe a cool idea is to move my bishop to back to b7, and then to c8. Okay. Seems like he doesn't really see the idea. Aha! Cool idea from him. Pretty cool. Mm, yeah, I was thinking to sacrifice in exchange. Maybe I needed to do it. Not sure. Okay, takes. Then queen e6. Is he going to go for f3? Pretty sure that he is going to go for f3. No, okay, he goes for bishop d4. Okay, let's play bishop c8. <laughs> Why did I waste like two or three tempests for that then? Uh, yeah, bishop c8, this. Well, I guess technically did not waste, but but still, um, queen f five, if f three, f knight g three. Okay, rook e c two. Let's play bishop e six. Oh, yeah, now f three works. As it seems. I have queen f4 though, I'm not forced to trade, and then f takes c, I have queen f1. Looks good. <laughs> and bishop e3, I can take on e5. Alright, time trouble is coming quite soon, so maybe there will be more blunders quite soon also. We'll see. Queen e3. Let's then go queen g3. I want to play knight g5 for rook f3 here. That's why. I don't want to trade. And if I take c, I have rook f1, and that's actually mate. So he has to be really, really careful. And he's in a huge time trouble. Okay, this, I think it just. Blunder, because I have rook f3. I could have go for knight g5, but I am pretty sure that rook f3 is better. And yeah, it looks like a w. Nice. I don't know if it must have Ziki 27. Not very fast, but slowly I found a weakness and broke through and won the game. Cool. I just wanted to see like watch broadcasts. Uh, we see C. Oh, we see. I mean, yeah, we see. Uh, no. M6. Oh, playing Scabaret. Uh, alrighty, good luck. Oh, I made it in worse position as it seems once. So once I lost to him, didn't play a very good game and two weeks ago. 
Ah, yeah, I remember this game. Oh, well, good luck, good luck. <laughs> um, all right, let's... Let's play E3. We had it before, I think, in the previous game. E3. Ah, there's a game between Magnus and Nepo is fully analyzed. Yeah, because I think Leeches has said they analyze only until move 100, and then the rest of analysis is basically nothing there, but this game is analyzed fully. So it will be easier for me to analyze. That's cool. That is very, very cool. Mm, B3. Okay. Let's play Queen G3, trying to put pressure on his weak, I mean not weak, but D6 pawn, let's play Bishop F3, because I'm kind of waiting for him to play Knight E4. Okie dokie, looking good, so far. So yeah, prevented knight e4. Idea maybe rook f1 and then e4 by myself. Okay, he does go for knight e4. Let's take once. And now let's play bishop b4 with bishop bishop b1 and bishop e4 idea. Though I blundered my queen. Yikes! Whoa! Wow! Wow! That's insane! <laughs> Let's play Queen G4! Uh, uh. Let's go for this! <laughs> Yikes! Yeah! Cabaret is playing amazingly. Uh, okay, bishop d5 check. <laughs> let's at least have let's at least have an outpost for my bishop. <laughs> that is really really helpful when I'm a queen for a bishop and a pawn down. Definitely, it's like having five rooks compensation. <laughs> okay, um, I mean I'm not sure. Uh, rook f3 here, and then rook here f5, hmm, maybe, 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 let's go f5, I, I think I don't have much to do, so if not f5 or e5, chances of me creating any counterplay are pretty much zero, so let's try, <laughs> so if g takes f, I think I'm going to take back with the pawn, Though not sure. Maybe with the rook. Yeah, with the rook and bishop g5 idea. With the pawn you can play rook e1. So I think I'm going to take with the rook. Maybe not the best, but I didn't really like it takes f rook e1. That's why I take with the rook. Mm -hmm. It takes on e4. That's interesting. Um... Um, this <laughs> yeah, maybe bishop b4 or rook f7 would have been better, but okay, queen g3. Hmm, I'm so sure. Mm-hmm. Should before keep keep hunting down his queen? <laughs> Maybe. Let's try it. He's in time trouble. Okay, this that Alright, he takes I see. Well, I'm definitely not winning here. 
Let's go King G3. Ah, King G. Oh, King G5 H4. That's nice. They have something. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, we hung everything. I was in cabaret. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That was the best game I think I had in my life. But win is a win. Already second clutch win of today. Oh, yo, yo. That was spicy. They ain't walked hard. Good luck. Ooh, first berserker of the day against me. Nice. Playing fast. He's playing very, very fast. Played him thrice. Played push by H3. It seems just like a pawn. To be honest with you, just say take. Uh -huh. Takes. Should I take? I think I should. I can play Queen H4. Because right now, his pawn is like a bodyguard for my keen. <laughs> Okay. Should be five. Oof. And he just blundered me. <laughs> yeah, and he had to take with queen. And on the game walked out. Good game. Thank you. Mm, Kid okay, nice. Whew, whew, whew. Ten minutes left. And the opponent is Lebronet. Good luck, Mr. Lebronet. And he's the second berserk against me of the day. Good luck, Lebronet. Let's have a good game. As Mr. Fred says, let the party begin. Uh, <laughs> Whose party it's going to be? We'll see. I think I'm forced to go here. <laughs> On move eight. Yikes. This, and then I have to go like that? Oof. Doesn't look too awesome. You know? Okay, queen a5. <laughs> that, that doesn't look too awesome, but okay. Castle. He takes d, knight c6. Okay, bishop g7. I think I need my bishop here. Now let's go rook a d8. Okay, I mean, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smart idea. 7, d takes c, rook d1, e takes f, then takes. But I think I'm not going to accept take on e7. Uh, this, I'm going to go for c4, takes, queen b6, <coughs> queen b2, uh, queen a2, let's go for, rook e8, yeah, I'm just a pawn up, but I like my position quite a lot. Let's play a five, just so my f7 pawn cannot be a weakness. Can be a power eventually. Um, okay, queen to f7, because I want to move my rook. Yep, uh, okay, maybe it can be a weakness. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe. But I think I can play a four. Let's calculate quickly this, this, this. Mm, not sure. Mm, bishop d4 and then f4, this, this, this. Yeah, I'm not sure, not sure, not sure. It's like very fast. 
I will be Zamp with Eric and we are almost tied on time. Ooh. Let's play some like this. Think. <laughs> That's very, very smart. <laughs> it's also the Q place. Pog. <laughs> okay, G takes F. Bishop D4 is this threat. Hold on, I think maybe my 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 trap which I placed actually works. Queen F5, Rook F5, Rook G1, mate. C takes D, Queen F. Pog. <laughs> <laughs> My trap, which I never thought would work, actually worked! Nice! Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Queen D3? <laughs> no, no, maybe it's way too wild. I mean, why not? Uh, Queen C3? <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, I thought I blundered something. But okay. Uh, Rook C8, this I'm just going to play A5 and then take on C3. This, um. Here, rook c2, rook c4. I don't know how to win this. Bishop d6, a4. Mr. Lebronet played very, very well. Without Berserk, I barely won against him while he berserked. So, an extremely good game from him. But luckily, I managed to win it. She played rook g5, and another pawn goes. Rook g4, h4, rook g5, and on him, Lebronet. GG. And hello, Rook 10, I'm here. One game will be second place. That will be cool. Uh, uh, second, third place. Uh, let's try to play two games. Let's see if the opponent they'll play against now going to berserk. If you will think it is high chances that I can get to two event of one. Play against Akin Arma. Good luck. Mr. Akin E3. Okay. So for E4, now take this bishop. Uh, Queen E3, I guess. Rook D1. He's setting up a trap. If my queen moves, he cannot take the pawn. Oh no, my pawn! <laughs> uh, I see. Oh, actually, did fall for that trap. Oh, cool! <laughs> I don't know. Why Why the traps I'm 99% sure are going to work, they don't work, and the traps I'm sure on 100% they won't work, they do work. What? How does this work? I'm not sure. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. This A takes with queen. A oh, queen if I would be a blunder. Just bishop f2. I'm lost. Let's play this rook d1. Um, check, and then rook d7, okay, rook g3, uh, rook b7, rook f7, G3. F5. <laughs> Let's go to a travel with my king. Let's travel with my king. King G6, Rook G4 does not work, so I think he's kind of forced to go Rook D. Okay, another game, Akin Arma. Good game. And let's say, hello, Rook 7, I'm here. One more win, one more win, one more win. Let's go. Just one more. Open and please. Please open and who will berserk? <laughs> Play against Tunar, Tunar Tank. Ah, he does not berserk. Then I guess the one is pretty unlikely. Ah, uh, but yeah, top, top two, top three is likely. If I win. <laughs> in less than two minutes. Ah, that's a bit unlikely, you know. <laughs> but I'll try. Okay, castle. Let's go queen b3. So you're going to go for queen b6? No. Okay, go so queen c8. Mm -hmm. I see. Queen c4, queen b4. Can I take that pawn? I mean, I'm greedy. <laughs> Maybe it won't be good, but I, I will take it. Oh well, 
interesting. <laughs> okay, yes. We'll learn queen d6 because queen a3, bishop f8. Oof. Okay, I think queen d6 is maybe better because queen a3, bishop f8, queen a4, b5, queen d1, b4. It seems pretty, pretty hard. Okay, let's just play queen a4 here. Now queen h4. Okay, jump b3, is that possible? No. <laughs> Um, here, I mean, knight c2, rook a c1, h6, bishop f6, bishop f6, okay, takes f6, queen f4, queen d2, Knight e5. Mm -hmm. Okay, here knight e4 or queen d4. If queen d4 here is queen e6, and this move protects everything, but knight e4, queen b4 threat, and if knight e5, queen d4 attacking and the rook and the bishop. Looks good. And knight f6 can be the idea. Or even knight d6, so <laughs> yeah. Okay, he plays queen e6, so he gives away an exchange as it seems. Yeah, he does. Okay, let's play rook a c1. So I have, an I have a whole exchange, and yeah, and I'm up on time. Looks good. Let's play rook fd1. He'll play bishop d5, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. No, okay, interesting. Let's just play e3. Uh, now rook d7. Rook b7. Rook d7. Oh, I could have taken a7. But okay, no, rook a7. <laughs> bishop f3. No, okay, they want bishop f3 now. <laughs> I, I, I liked it. I like to eat his pawns, to be honest. Uh, okay, g takes h. Rook c4. That looks good. Now rook h4. Have an exchange in four pawns. Let's just not blunder. And the, yeah, <laughs> the win is in my hands. Okay, let's just play f3, I think. Yeah, because h3, rook g6, bishop f3. Not needed stuff for me. Just f3. Looks much easier. And looks much better. Now let's go for king g3. Let's go for rook. Maybe not, rook. Maybe not. Okay, check here, then rook g4, rook a6, <gasps> my rook, <laughs> but did you take it, oi yo yo, I think I may take it easy a bit too early, but luckily you didn't see that I blundered, I'll just play b4, I don't need anything. <laughs> I'll just easily play cozily, not creating any problems for myself. I'm at least I'm a, I'm at least try to do like that. <laughs> no one knows what is going to happen. But yeah, I hung a whole rook, so but luckily didn't take it. Okay, let's go rook f five. King f2. That's only one loss in today's tournament. That is really, 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 really good. And another name, Tunar Tank. And it's place. If I would have win, I would have been fourth. Performance 2649. Awesome! Nice! So I type in the chat. Thank you all for the games. Congrats to Bura to Sa oops two thousand and three Yep Congratulations to Bura two thousand and three I forgot how to type congratulations message <laughs> Um Um 
um, 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 relations to not this one, uh, this congratulations to okay, congratulations to Bura 2003, yeah, Geni, yeah, Geni da Vedenko. And to Ice Lord B G. Cool. So in chapter 10, do I have to see how it's performed? No, okay, but a lot of leg. That's extremely high performance. Cool. Uh, but I'm second by No, third. Tunart. I was the first one winning in Stunartan. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so first, Buddha 2003, 52 points. Second, you've gained the winning of 50 points. Third, Ice Lord B G, 49 points. Fourth, Alas Deir Mhikchola, 46 points. Piston Charm, 45 points. Six, Chepa, 45 points. Seven, Sor Finwasa Lofa, like 44 points. Eight, me, for two points. Nine, Sergei Ivan Ivanovson, for two points. And ten, Jacob, 19, 40 points. So, I'm going to show you top 100 of the tournament. 100, yeah. Um, Next 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 now let's analyze the game i lost and very interesting scene for the end let's go the game i lost was to belly cop hash um one 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 for him two nil three for me <coughs> so it was english opening or radio opening but more like english i think but if i blunder to go for b5 more or less fine position because after queen a5 he could have just take rook c6 and knight d5 basically trade i just lose a knight and if queen d8 z z i'm already in exchange and a pawn down and i'm completely lost knight d4 blonde ready to go for b5 z is here ready to go for b4 my queen is trapped so i have to take and then just bye bye to my bishop and knight six blunder here to go for queen c8 because i just lost <laughs> 10,000 pawns. I tried to flag my opponent, uh, but I had way too little pieces. And here, mate, and a little game, belly caught perch. Good game, b5 here. Uh, b5. And. Knight f5. Knight just rhymed, uh, but did not. Wasn't good. Queen a7. No. Queen a5. Of course, no. Uh, D5 falls. Doesn't look good. I mean, it looked good because I tried it, but, but it's not good. Mm. To be honest with you, I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Knight F5. No, wait, I tried it. What's some obvious move? Like, seems like rook move, that rook move, <laughs> or maybe a bishop move. Bishop move. Bishop move. Maybe a pawn move. No. Oh, uh, I. No, I said knight move. Is it a king move? Uh, I don't remember. We, wait, what? Well, didn't I try? E4? Try everything, let's go, let's try everything. Even though almost everything is wrong. Do, 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 do. Try everything. Do, 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 do. Let's try. No, I. I'm really sorry, but. Look here! Is there any move I didn't try me unless it's Queen C4? <laughs> I think I tried everything else. Uh but not if not counting crazy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oopsie! Oopsie! Oops, oops, oops. And now to the most interesting thing of the day, let's analyze round six and round seven of World Championship match. In round six, it was Magnus with white pieces and Apple with black pieces. They started off like a cardinal on, 
But here Magnus chose a side line, main line is c4, and that's main cut along, but Magnus chose a side line, a side line and played b3. Then it was c5, d takes c. Here Magnus sacrificed a pawn, but Jan could not take it because of a pin. So queen e7, knight bd2. Here if Jan would take the pawn, knight b3, and then Magnus, even though he's a pawn down, he has a pretty good compensation for that. So Jan played knight c6, then Magnus took a pawn, and yeah, these, knight d3, bishop g5, they develop in their pieces. Here, this was unusual, because usually you take with a queen, right? To, and then after trade, you take with pawn. And position would have been completely equal, Probably Jan would easily drew it, but Jan played g takes f, rook a c1, trade, bishop g2, king g2, queen b7, king goes back to g1 because of check, queen e4, queen c2, a5, rook fd1 here, rook d2, and here Jan decided to play rook a c8. Probably either way could have been like b4, as Stockfish says, takes, bishop f2, king f2, just take, and position is very equal. Because rook c8 is given some counterplay. Here h5 is a next from Jan, he had to go for bishop b2, rook c5, and basically this position with two rooks versus a queen would be equal. So if Jan would... That's already a bit more cooler position for Magnus because he can like double up and put pressure on f7 pawn, but still equal. And bishop b2 was an exe from Jan here to go for queen b3. Here Magnus made with three minutes on the clock a huge blunder. Basically it was a blunder from Jan. He had to go for queen d7 instead of queen d6. After queen d7, if Magnus would have played rook cc2, queen a3, rook a2, e5, e4, queen d4, Magnus takes, and here he has two rooks and the knight was a queen and two pawns, so he should be better. But Magnus, yeah, Jan played queen d6, and Magnus with three minutes on the, on the clock made a huge blunder. Instead of playing rook cc2, then bishop a3, knight f4, queen moves to f8, then rook d d7, knight e6 threat, and king g8, rook d c7, this, and yeah, Jan's king position is breaking, and h5, and Magnus is completely winning. Another move would be rook b5, but it would not be good because of bishop a3, and rook cannot move because of bishop b4. So only move for Magnus to keep more or less fine position would have been rook d1, queen d7, rook c5, and here Jan has an extra pawn. So position would have been slightly better for Jan. Magnus played rook d1. Uh, gave away a pawn for Jan, then he took it. e5 is an exe from Jan, he had to take bishop b4, and basically here he would be uh, queen and pawn for two rooks, which, slightly, which is slightly better than what was in the game. Magnus, instead of rook c2 here, had to go for e4, rook e5, then taking a4 pawn, given away a rook for a bishop, and this position with rook and knight for Magnus versus a queen for Jan, and four pawns for both is equal because Magnus has a fortress and Jan's pawn structure isn't so good. But Magnus played rook c2, and queen e5 is a big blunder from Jan. He, had, he just had to take the pawn in b4, and this. Wait. Um, yeah, just king h7 here, and he's better. He's a pawn up and. Yeah. When I say a pawn up, not only a pawn up, it is queen versus two rooks and a pawn for the queen. Yeah. Okay, but queen e5 hasn't been played. Rook d2, queen b3. e4 is a mistake from Jan here to go for a5. Then rook a1, they would have just trade off. Rook here, a4, and that would have been a draw because. Just so little pawns are on the board, it should end in a draw. Okay, Magnus played knight c5, and here on the move 40, where he, after what he got 30, min 30 minute increment, he made a blunder. Instead of playing knight e4, he had to go for rook dc2, and then that's a zugzwang for Jan. If he can move his queen because bishop falls, 
if bishop b2, yeah, basically bishop cannot move also, and for every other move, like king h7, Magnus would have just take. If queen b3, Magnus could play knight 3 This pawn is weak and he's winning, so Jan had to take queen a4, then rook c3, and here Magnus is completely winning. Like, for example, slowly Magnus can double up, like rook c5, f6, you can do this, but then f4, so you have to be careful. Basically, rook a8, and yeah, double up, and two rooks are stronger. But Magnus played knight e4. Oh no, wait, they actually got an hour here. So, yeah, this now position was completely equal. Here, Magnus managed to get a pawn. It was a nice trade, because here, if Jan would have taken, Magnus with knight, a rook, and a pawn for queen would manage to win because basically pawn structure is falling apart from Jan. But Jan found only move queen h4 and position is still maintaining equal. Then there was a lot of moves they already came to time trouble. And here I think from more or less that moment I started watching on streams. It's bishop a7 in xc from Jan. He had to go for bishop c7. Just move around with bishop, that would be equal. More or less, something was in the game, only Jan didn't have one pawn. So, let's go right into it. Bishop a7, they were moving more, more or less around and around. Here, Magnus took a pawn, queen d3. Basically, if this and Jan has that, Magnus has to go for this, otherwise he loses. Near slightly better position for Jan, but Magnus would have hold it. But Magnus played rook f7, Jan has to take rook b7, and in this position it is a new material lot. We've got a rook and a knight, a rook, knight, and two pawns for a queen. So, slowly, Magnus just moved around. I was like screaming here on stream yesterday, just like king g2 and then just play e4 and push a pawn, but Magnus waited for a while. Knight g5 was the next here to go for knight e4. Here, if Jan would leave his king more to the center of the board, it would be a very simple draw. Could have even probably take a pawn. Yeah. This. But even though Stockfish says it is equal position, it is in real life really hard to hold for Jan because here Magnus finally played e4. Then. Jan played h4, and I think maybe h4, even though it was good, it feels like Jan just doesn't have any counterplay, kinda, because with only queen, he cannot break through Magnus' fortress, and yeah, here Jan already got slightly worse position, around almost minus 2, and here Jan Queen e6 was a blunder. Stockfish says he had to leave his queen like on b1, for example. And queen d1. And if something be at the back, so just king cannot move, and that would still maintain the draw. Yeah. Basically, if king e8 f5, then you can just give a check and win e5 pawn. But Jan played queen e6, and that was like big blunder. This, and here, queen h7. Magnus is completely within. And a beautiful move, e6. And after this, Jan is completely lost. He cannot take the rook because of knight g7. And yeah, queen a7, for example, then just king g5 only move. Then king g4, or rook f6. This, repeat and then go king g4. This, rook d5, easy win. I mean, it's not so simple. Rook d7, whoops, that's not good. Queen g1 here, queen here. But Magnus would hide. Then I think he can just like push a five. No, that actually makes a draw. But King G6, Queen G1, Kid H6 repeat. Now Rook D3, King E7, then F5, Queen C1, King H7, and then Rook D7, and Magnus wins. Very hard win, but Jan just played Queen G6. And after this Rook F7, Jan cannot take the pawn. Even though it seems like it's just an equal pawn endgame, Magnus has a win after king g5, king f7, king f5. It's opposition, and king f6, this, 
then push and Magnus would promote a queen. So Jan just played king d8, then f5, queen g1, knight g7, and Jan give up. The game could have continued like queen h2. Yeah, Magnus threat was e7, so Jan had to keep checking, check, 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 but then after king g8, e7 is unstoppable, no more checks, and Magnus would have win. So that's the first result of result of well, resultive game of the match so far. And let's analyze middle point of the match. Jan vs Magnus, game number seven. So, it was Ray Lopez. I think I'm not going to go that deep like I did in first, in previous game. It was pretty usual opening for the match. A4, rook b8. D3, d6. Yeah, basically yesterday game yesterday's game was eight hours so players were extremely tired so they just played something simple bishop f8 this bishop b6 d4 they traded pawns they traded bishops knight g6 rook e c1 c5 basically like jan would have win a pawn but then rook e4 this and he doesn't win anything so jan played e5 and then queen f5 d c would also be fine, but a bit more stressful. e4, pastor, so yeah, Magnus just played queen f5. d takes c, d takes c. Uh, trades, massive trades are coming, this. And here, you can say like b3 is an easy draw. Not really true, because through b1, b3 here, and yeah, it is still a draw, but it's not so simple. You have to push, so yeah. But yeah, Magnus just played rook c8, then rook a5, they traded, and in this rook end game, they just waited until move 40, and here I draw. Yeah, this game was, <laughs> I think, not the most aggressive game they've had, but still quite interesting. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed the stream, because I did. So, thank you all for watching, uh, thanks all for the games whom I played against, and yeah, please join my channel, share special hashtag club, and I team Zara, and members, thank you all very much, 19 more members, and I'm waiting around 1,000 members, so feel free to join, I will be very, very happy. Announcement for stream tomorrow, I think as usual, going to be at 7 p.m., or 19, uh, key of time, 19, <laughs> Yeah, 19 Um, going to be Elite Bull Terrena. Yep, so hope to see you there tomorrow. And yeah, thank you for following on chess on YouTube and on Twitch. And as usual, please about an answer right to me and please answer your please on chess. And also, please my Discord. If you'll share my Discord, you'll get notifications when I stream on Twitch and when I post videos on YouTube. Link in the description. Yeah, bye bye. See you soon. See you tomorrow. Same fun. See you don't Stay cool.